गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स स्टैंडर्ड ट्वेल्थ चैप्टर नंबर फाइव एडमिशन ऑफ ए पार्टनर अंकिता एंड निशा पार्टनर सेंग प्रॉपर्ट एंड लॉस इन द रेस ऑफ टू इस्ट वन बैलेंस शीट ऑफ द फर्म एज ऑन थर्टी वन टू सिक्सटीन वॉज एस एंडर एज यू कैन सेंड द लाइब्रेरी सेट कैपिटल इज गिवन जनरल रिजर्व क्रेडिटर्स बिल्स पेपर इज गिवन इस सेट मशीनरी फर्नीचर स्टॉक डेटर्स माइनस पीडी एंड कैश बैलेंस इज गिवन दर्पित एज ए न्यू पार्टनर वन फोर सिक्सटीन ऑन द फॉलोइंग टर्म्स Ankita sacrifices one upon twelve from her share, and Nisha sacrifices one upon six from her share in favor of Arpita. Already sacrificing ratio is given one upon twelve is to one upon six. Keeping the base same, you'll get the ratio of sacrifices one is to two. Arpita is going to bring her capital as proposed net, as shown in the solution part. Arpita is to bring her share of goodwill in cash. Goodwill of the firm is valued at rupees ninety thousand. Fixed assets are to be appreciated, depreciated by 10 percentage. All debtors are good. Insurance premium rupees 2400 or rupees 12000 is to be carried forward to the next year. Prepare the necessary accounts. Go through the questions once again, and then look into the solution. Okay, thank you. Welcome to the solution of question number 17, chapter number five, admission of a part. What are the part two problems? Okay. As you all know, we first saw the adjustment entries. So let us start with the first adjustment. Ankita sacrifices one upon twelve from her share, and Isha sacrifices one upon six from her share in favor of Arpita. Ankita sacrifices one upon twelve. Already, what the partner sacrifice has given? So Ankita sacrifices one upon twelve, and Isha sacrifices one upon sixteen. Based on this formula, we will solve. When the old ratio and new ratio is given, at that time we got to find the sacrifice ratio. But here it says sacrifice already given. So making the base same, multiply by two, multiply by two. So we got one is to two as sacrifice ratio. So what will the Arpita get for future? One upon twelve from Ankita and one upon six from Isha. Adding both, making the LCM, getting the LCM three by twelve. Okay, reducing the values. Three one zero three, three four zero twelve. One upon four. So we have admitted Arpita for one upon fourth side future profit. Then the next adjustment is given as such. Arpita is to be the proportional capital. What is the proportional capital? Proportional capital means supposedly A and B are partners. Why? Arpita and Isha are partners. Suppose that Arpita and Isha are partners. Okay. So at the end of the particular year, they both have the balance of rupees one lakh. The balance carried down on one day. Rupees one lakh. Okay. New partner. Let me tell you. You both have the amount of all together rupees one lakh. I'll bring the proportion of proportion of it. Suppose I have admitted her for one upon four. Sir. So for remaining three upon four, if it is one lakh, all together one lakh. So what will be one upon four? Hope so. You are understanding that. See. Suppose his balance here, Ankita, her balance carried down to sixty thousand. Isha's balance carried amount will come as forty lakh. Sixty plus forty is one lakh. Okay, so that amount is one lakh. So what Arpita is saying that I will be proposed at one fourth. So remaining three fourths are that amount. So for three fourths they have one lakh. So for one fourth how much will be? So this answer capital amount we will get at the end of the sum when we will get the amount of balance carried down. So right now. We will not be able to find out the proportional capital. At the end, I will teach you how to find the proportional capital. Okay. Coming to the next point, Arpita is bringing a share of goodwill in cash. Goodwill of the firm is valued at rupees ninety thousand. Okay. Firm goodwill is given ninety thousand. Goodwill of Arpita. So ninety thousand into one upon four. Arpita is being included in the partnership form for one upon four sir. So it will be rupees twenty two thousand five hundred. Hope so. You still remember all the answers which is given for goodwill. So if a new partner gives the amount of goodwill, then we have to write the entry. Cash account debit to Arpita's capital to Isha's capital. What is the equivalent ratio? One is to two. So twenty-two thousand five hundred. One is seventy-five hundred, and two is fifteen thousand. This amount we got to transfer. 
cash account debit side we will be writing premium for goodwill amount is 22500 over here by premium for goodwill ankita's column 7500 this as well 15000 Okay, this we have already done in so many sums before him. So I hope now you remember. Okay, when new partner brings the amount of goodwill, the entry will be as such. Okay. Coming to the next point, point number four. Fixed assets are to be depreciated by ten percentage. So fixed assets are given to the sum as machinery and furniture. Machinery and furniture they are called as fixed assets. They are to be depreciated. Let us see what is the amount of machinery given. Machinery is given fifty four thousand and furniture is given forty thousand. Okay, so that depreciated to machinery sixty four hundred and to furniture forty thousand is given ten percent is four thousand. Okay, then we are adding the remaining amount on the other side. Machinery. Seven thousand six hundred from sixty-four thousand subtracting sixty-four hundred got this amount from furniture forty thousand subtracting four thousand and we got the amount as thirty-six thousand. Solving the next point. Point number five. All details are good. All details are good. It means we don't need the amount of VDR in the question. VDR is given as rupees three thousand two hundred. Okay, thirty two hundred amount is given. We don't need the amount of VDR. It is a profit by VDR thirty two hundred. The amount of acres forty thousand will directly transfer to asset side. Acres forty thousand. VDR amount now we don't need. We know all acres are good. Means whatever is the we have kept aside beforehand. Now we don't need no need of any reserves. So it is a profit for the partnership firm. Coming to the next point, insurance premium amount is twenty four hundred. Out of which one the other is to be carried forward to the next year. Okay, so twenty four hundred amount of insurance is prepaid. Prepaid is one second benefit, one second profit. Prepaid insurance twenty four hundred over two assets. Prepaid insurance twenty four hundred. Whole yearly premium was twelve thousand. Okay, out of that twenty four hundred amount is prepaid, so we got to pass the entry for twenty four hundred, not for twelve thousand. We have it done. So now all the adjustments are clear. Okay, let us transfer the amount. Capital of Akita and Nisha is given fifty four thousand thirty two dollars. Capital over this side sixty four thousand thirty two thousand. Then uh, general reserve is given sixteen thousand eight hundred. We got to distribute in old ratio that is two is two one. Okay. Over to here by general reserve. Okay. Let us close the account. I hope so. This 
service board, 10,400, 10,400 minus 2,400, 8,000, 5,000, 4,000, 800 is the remaining amount by partner's capital, Ankita, Visa. In the ratio, old ratio, we got distributing all ratio, all ratio is given as 2 is to 1. So, 30 to 100 and 1600. Transfer on credit side by devaluation account. 30 to 100, 1600. Let us go Sankita first of all. 64,000 plus 7500 plus 11,000. 200. Sorry, it is a loss, so we will record it. Over to here. To relieve valuation account. 3200, 1600. Predict the debit side transfer. 64,000 plus 7500 plus 11,200. Give the amount as 18,700. From this 82,700, I got to supply 3200. So remaining amount is 79,500. To balance get down. 32,000 plus 15,000, 47,000. 47,000 plus 5,000, 52,600. Plus 60,000 
Your concept will be clear. Okay. Thank you.